With September coming to a close, will unseasonably warm temperature be sticking around? Or will this be the last warm up we see for quite a while? And what about the tropics? Do we have any troubles from activity out there in the Atlantic and the Pacific that'll affect the homeland? Be breaking that all down. Coming up in this video. Howdy y'all, welcome back. We're gonna start looking at the tropics as we have a couple disturbances out there. We have Philip and we have Raina. Let's go and take a look at Philip. It's currently a tropical storm. It's gonna remain a tropical storm all the way through Tuesday. It's not gonna cause any direct impacts. It's just gonna bring some some dangerous surf and some high rip currents to much of the Caribbean islands. But our main concern is gonna be Raina. As it's going to turn into a tropical storm by Friday morning, it's going to remain a tropical storm all the way through Sunday morning, but as soon as we head into Monday, it's very uncertain as to where it could possibly go. It could possibly recurve, or it could make a left turn and make a turn towards the homeland. But let's take a look at this. Take a look at the simulated infrared model. We can see we have Philip here on the left and Rena here on the right, both doing the spin and running out there like Booker T. As we can see by Friday, we see rain is turning into a tropical storm as we head off into Monday into Tuesday we can see it's gonna be making a decision as to where it could go in my opinion I think it's gonna recurve and become a little fish storm and according to the euro it's thinking just that as a, a trough could possibly set up and that's the reason why the euro is thinking that it's gonna be making a right turn into the Atlantic so make sure you are subscribed down below the bell notifications on because I will be keeping an eye on this as this does progress. And I'm sure y'all are curious as to what other tropical storms or hurricanes are out there. Let's go and take a look at the eastern Pacific. We can see we have 20% chance for a tropical storm development. A low chance, but a chance nonetheless. But this won't affect Hawaii any, so that's good. So now that we know what kind of tropical storms and hurricanes are forming out there in the Atlantic and in the Pacific, let's go and take a look at what we could expect as we head into October. And to determine what we could expect as we head into October, let's take a look at the 500 millibar height on the map. This determines where our troughs and reservoirs are going to be setting up. As we know, we've been relatively warm for much of the central and eastern part of the country this month. And this is due to this major ridge that's been taking over much of the country. And it looks like a trough is going to be setting in out west. And this could play a role in what we could expect as we head into October. As we push this forward, we can see a major pattern flip is going to be expected. As we head into the weekend of October 7th, as you see, a major trough is going to be setting in for much of the central and eastern part of the country, while a major ridge is going to be taking over much of the western part of the country. Now, y'all may be wondering, how does this affect the temperatures? And we're going to take a look at the temperature anomalies to determine that. As we can see, we're going to be coming into an above average trend for much of the central and eastern part of the country, of course, due to that major ridge that's going to be setting up. And out west, y'all are going to be below average, of course, due to the troughing pattern. And watch as we push this forward to October. We can see that this pattern is going to be flipping. We can see below average temperatures are going to be expected for much of the central and eastern part of the country, while the northwest and northeast are going to be coming into sort of an above average trend. Now, y'all may be wondering what are the actual temperatures going to be looking like with these below average temperatures expected for much of the country. As we push this forward, we can see the northwest part of the country is going to be coming in to some really frigid air. With temperatures as low as 30 degrees in parts of Idaho, Montana, and parts of Wyoming as well. And even over here in the northeast part of the country. As we push this far, we can see that 100 degree temperatures are going to be in store as far north as Nebraska by Friday, because you can see. And we're going to be in this back and forth for quite some time. Cool air stretching south, warm air stretching north. See 100 degree temperatures again. But as we head into October, it looks like this cold air is going to win out. As you can see, we're going to be... Experiencing some cold air as far south as Kansas and parts of Missouri and Illinois and Indiana are going to be getting on this action as well. So just enjoy these nice temperatures while they last because cold air looks like it's going to be making a comeback as we head into October. Now as we look at the 6 to 10 day temperature outlook, we can see that much of the country is going to be above average from the central and eastern part. But out west, you're going to be below average. Next eight to 14 days looking about the same. So before we get into the precipitation outlook maps, it's going to take a look at what kind of severe weather and flooding we could experience for the next few days. Now as far as severe weather goes for the next few days, we got just general thunderstorms today on Thursday. 
here in the light green. As we head off into Friday, we have a marginal risk for severe weather from Minnesota down into Nebraska. Now, the only threats tomorrow mainly just going to be a low end threat for damaging winds and a low end threat for large hails. So make sure you tie anything up or bring it in if you don't want anything blown around out there and bring it in if you don't want it damaged from hail. We head off into Saturday. It's just again another threat for just general thunderstorms here in the light green. So it looks like severe weather season starting to wind down as we head into the spooky season of October. As far as flooding goes for the next few days, we got a slight risk for excessive rainfall up here by New Jersey, and a marginal risk from Ohio down in Tennessee and down by Florida. As we head off into Friday, we have a couple marginal risks up here by Minnesota and Florida, and another slight risk over here by New Jersey. Head off into Saturday, we have a couple more marginal risks for flooding over here by Florida and New Mexico. So if you live in any of these colored zones for the next few days, just if you live in a low-lying area, please be aware of this. Turn around and do not drown if you see a flooded roadway. See up above here, we got our fall map, our pollen map, drop map, and our air quality alert map. And this fall foliage map goes out until October 2nd, so just go out and enjoy these fall leaves while we're going to be experiencing some nice temperatures before it gets too cold out. If you want to send me some fall leaf pictures, I'd like to see them. Send to my little tour page i'll have a link to that description down below i'd greatly appreciate it and of course with fall comes pollen lovely allergies as you can see we're dealing with some heavy allergies down by texas and of course as far as that drought goes we're experiencing a lot of drought like in much of the country and as we can see on the six to ten day precipitation outlook looks like we're going to get some relief for the central part of the country here in the green but if you live from Mississippi up into Maine, looks like no relief in sight for y'all. You're going to be still experiencing some drought-like conditions. Next 8 to 14 days, looks just about the same. And lastly, let's go and take a look at the simulator radar. See what we could expect for the next upcoming weeks as far as our weather patterns go. We know we got some heavy rainfall going on from Ohio down in Tennessee. And we got some severe weather happening from Minnesota down into Nebraska on Friday. That's going to occur through the early evening hours. So just please be aware, it's just mainly going to be... Hail and winds are going to be our primary threats. Dealing with some flooding up here in the northeast and going to be dealing with some soggy conditions out west as we head into October. And we're also going to be dealing with some snowy conditions over here by Wyoming as well. Now as we head into October, looks like a cold front is going to be making its way towards the east and we could be experiencing some severe weather down by Texas. Definitely something to keep our eye on and it's going to bring some well needed rain out east as well. But with well-needed rain, it's going to bring some chilly air. With September coming to a close, it looks like some chilly air is going to be making a comeback. So enjoy these warm temperatures while they last. And go on and enjoy these fall leaves as well as leaves are starting to turn already. And send some pictures of fall foliage out there as well. I'll have a link to my Twitter description down below. I'd like to see these fall leaves. And with fall leaves comes with pollen as well. So make sure you're ready for allergy season. As far as the tropics go, we only have one system to worry about, which is Raina. Chances of it affecting the homeland are very slim, but I will keep an eye on that as it does progress. And in the next video, I will have a winter outlook video up, so make sure you stay tuned for that. This winter is going to be pretty interesting. So if you like the video, please hit that thumbs up button. Don't forget to subscribe down below. Constructive feedback is always appreciated. I appreciate each and every one of y'all for tuning in. And until next time, never stop forecasting.